de-escalate. No. De-escalate. De-escalate. Don't touch me. I want his name and badge number. This is unconstitutional. I was pulled over because I didn't want it. No, I was parked because I... I'll ask you to leave one last time. What's your name? Jim Curry. Okay. Yeah, let's take him out. What's your position? Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Well, I've decided to focus more on this channel. I'm not going to get full control of it back until late June, but that's okay. I'm going to keep posting um, because I got so much positive feedback from you guys saying how much you love the channel. I'm not going to let YouTube spoil it. So I'm going to keep building this channel. And when I get my channel back, and I will, I'll be, uh, you know, in a better place. So, so be it. Today, we're in Champaign, Illinois. And we're going to see a frauditor turn a simple noise violation into a f federal crime. He threatens lawsuits, obviously. And, you know, he, he cannot act more immature than what we're going to see in this video. So let's take a look. He said, 2022, he said my address on camera. He said, stand by. That means they're already trying to in in instigate an action. What does that mean, instigate an action? And that's not your address, it's a lot of people's addresses because you're in a, in a condo uh, apartment complex. So that's a lot of people's addresses, first of all. But secondly, what do you mean, instigate an action? There's a problem. Normally, the police call for backup. The more police officers they have, the less chance there'll be any violence or altercation. It's pretty much standard procedure. I'm, I'm, that's all. I heard all that. Hey, sir. No, that's fine. Sir, I'm going to tell you. Where's your complaint in? Warning. Where, the complaint what's is, the warning? Is, is, is that you can't be in complaint. Loud. It's too loud. It's against city ordinance violation. It is. It there is. are bars downtown okay. that have louder music than this when you roll down the street. Dude, that's a bar. Bars are zoned differently than residential. I mean, even a dummy knows that. All right. What you can do in a business zone, a commercial zone, isn't necessarily the same things you can do in a residential zone. It's all outlined on your community website. Go to zoning and ordinances and check it on out. That's fine. City ordinance. That's fine. Says that any Where's animal, your decimal reader? It doesn't have to be a decimal you, So it's your experience? Yes. Got it. The city ordinance says that any amplified music got that it. can be heard on your permission. property. Yeah, I got it. Is that car is louder. So because the frauditor is too lazy to do it, I looked up Champaign, Illinois' noise ordinances for non-vehicular and vehicular, and it's all outlined there. Oh yeah, it, you don't have to be a genius to read it. It talks about what you can and cannot do, the noise levels that you can make, and when it comes to vehicle, which is what I think this guy is doing, it seems like he's blasting music from his car while he's working in his yard. It's obviously too loud, and it's disturbing people. There's probably kids around. There's probably neighbors trying to enjoy their day while you're blasting your terrible music mine every day okay. but i got it okay. go ahead so i will make video i will make a video is, evidence is please down. pay attention my brother i will make a video documentary of the loud noise around my neighborhood every day that no one complains about and how an officer told me mine is too loud after all it is medulla oblongata yes that, there's cars right there that boom every yeah. day that boom my walls okay. but you're all telling right, me mine i'm not calling sir i didn't make a complaint hi i'm earth have we met I swear these people are children in adult bodies. He just said, there's cars that make the same noise. Uh, nobody comes down here. Well, call the police and they'll do it. Oh, I don't call the police. I, I, what do you expect to happen then? I, I, didn't, your, I don't make, I'm not complaining. I'm only saying this so that way since you have yours, we can start. It's way louder. So this, but that's but I don't complain. Can I just say, but can he I, has a complaint against me. Can I speak Which you people? can't be a complainant. And I don't know if you know that or not. Are you... I, I, I make sense. It makes sense. You're way younger than me. I know I look young. I've been doing this for a long. It definitely does. Experience. Explain it real quick. Cops play me. Say again. I say cops play me. Go ahead. Tell me what. Shut the hell up. If you would just be quiet for two seconds and let the cops speak to you, maybe you would understand this. You didn't make a complaint. That's your choice. Your neighbor obviously did make a complaint. That's his choice. It's called living in society. Now, the police officer's job is to get both of you to a point where you can stop calling them. That's it. That's all they care about. They don't care about you. They don't care about you being harassed or bringing you in or giving you tickets. They could care less. All they want is to leave the situation peacefully. That's it. I don't know. Okay. So what? So I'm a constitutionalist. Tell me. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. 
<laughs> if this moron could tell me one thing about the Constitution that does not involve the First Amendment, I will hand him my teaching license. I will I will officially retire forever. Tell me what I don't know. Go okay, ahead. So my thing I'm gonna listen. Here. I'll listen. Right. I'll listen. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen. So I want to say anybody complained or anything, but just like you lost the for example, if your vehicle is driving down the street, so it's not driving. Tough, listen to me, man. Just, uh, okay, I'm sorry for interrupting your, your, your explanation. You, you, you're not going to let me talk, are you? I you, definitely you, you, you don't want me to talk. I promise you, you I want to talk. hear it. Okay. Is that what so, you're going to do? Hypothetically speaking. Okay. Let's say a vehicle's riding down the street, right? Mm -hmm. You're a constitution, so you, you know your laws, right? Yeah. Okay, so how many feet away can you not, can you hear a, a, a sound application device coming from a vehicle before you pull it over? So, no, just answer the question. I haven't said anything. I'm ready for you. Answer the question. Where's your decimal reader? It's, you don't need a decimal reader. You don't need that? No, you do not. So how do you know how many feet away? How many feet goes by, for example, how, 50 to 75 feet. How do you know? Have you made the example by by calculating the feet with your I, feet? I can. I can grab my So you can, Do you want me to grab my tape measure real quick? Now, he didn't start this when the officers arrived, so I have no idea what was said before he turned his stupid cell phone on. I guarantee you, they walked up and said, sir, you need to keep the music down. And then he started in on my rights, blah, 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 blah. Instead of just being a normal human being and saying, sorry, officer, I'll keep it down. We get this. Would you like me to do that? I'll grab it right now for you. Good for you. Thank you, sir. Seven, what's your name? Bloom. D. Bloom. 742. Is your body camera on? Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. I like to educate our local law enforcement. And knowing is half the battle. I, I could learn more from watching one cartoon show than listening to you probably your entire life. So that we can have a better experience. I like to help educate residents so that, of the city. Did you go to law school? What? No, I didn't. You went to the academy? I went to the police academy. Okay, that's yeah. so all that. Enough said. I like education. It's a great thing. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. You got your situation handled and everything? It's none of your concern, actually. It's public information. No, no, it's not. I'll look it up tonight. Perfect, you look it up tonight. For you. Are you serious? Did you just say that to me? It's, it's not concern. public knowledge? No. Not all of it is, no. You're explaining a lot to me. What? No, it seriously is public domain. Not all of it. Not all of the information that was gathered on this call is your, is your public record. It's not. You're right. So that anything... I disrupted, not public domain. Ask your question again. There was no aspect of whatever investigation you were conducting that wouldn't be public domain to me. There's, There's no, no you heard me. Would be. There would be. What? There's juveniles involved, so you would not have access to Have that I filmed any juveniles? No, no. Have that, I disrupted anything? That's not what I said. You literally you're said my music. My, you're, you're putting words I in filmed my you saying that my music you couldn't think. You said it. It's on camera. Yeah. Now recant. Yeah, I did say that. It was so loud that it was hard to think. Yes, I did say As that. A so you're a trained professional through the academy who has experience. How long have you been a police officer? 20 years. 20 year veteran. Loud music can actually disrupt your thoughts. Yes. Once again, the frauditor makes no point. I mean, you could be young, old, trained, untrained. I don't care what profession you're in. If somebody is blasting music at a high enough decibel, it's going to bother you. It's the reason why, you know, we have noise ordinances in a residential area. It's because we have people like this who don't give a crap about their neighbors, their community, will blast any horrible song. And if it's your music, that's your music. That's great. You like your music. I like my music. That's not the point. The point is that anyone can be distracted by very loud, high-pitched noise. And it doesn't matter if you're a police officer or not. It doesn't matter if you've been on the force 20 years or you're a rookie cop. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I'll take that. This is uh, Officer Bloom, yep. patrol officer of 20 idea. years. Uh, you're not getting it. So you're in violation of the city Go ordinance. ahead and, 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 and arrest me. I'm ready to go. I'll put everything down. I'll go. 
I'll go. I'll go. No, I don't care. It's a I'll go. Event. I want to go to jail. Not, if you write me a ticket, you're taking me to jail. <laughs> 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 that guy's still a virgin. <laughs> not, I want to go. It's not if a, not, leave me alone. You're taking me to jail or you're not bothering me. You better not touch anything of mine. I'm gonna close this so I can see your No, you're not. Plate. You better not touch my private property. Sir? Fourth Amendment. No. Fourth Amendment, I'm secure in my persons and property exactly. itself. Do not touch my property on private property. I have an officer on my private property which is private property. Keep out. Step, step into my property. Trying back to video up. cam Wild back up on my property, take me down Move and arrest away. me. Kick his ass, sea bass. Come on, officer. This self proclaimed constitutionalist is really asking for it. Come on, take him down. Take him down. This I'll, I'll go. I'll, no, I want you to do what you feel you have the right Keep to do. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me, please. Now we're pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Now we're pockets. Yeah. Now we're pockets. Thank you for escalating. You're the one that is doing this. You're thing. an officer. You're supposed to de-escalate. Sitting here training your policy. I read every day. I know your whole policy manner of conduct. Literally, I know it. And you're not acting in it. Continue. On camera. Continue. You're in, Continue. Violation. You're in violation of a city ordinance. I am asking Prove you it. He didn't I get am. the tape measure. It doesn't matter. If you're amplifying what music. is if your you, if, device stop. to record your, the distance? If your what is your device? Music, what is your device? My ears. My ears. Your experience? Yes. If so you can di judge distance talking. by feet, by stop your ears? Talking. It's not about feet. Back away 50 feet, tell feet. me if you can hear it. It's not about feet. So what is it? Anything that can be heard off of your property line is violation So when I go downtown ordinance. and I hear the music from the clubs and the bars yes. banging into the street, they're in violation? You could call Are us. they in violation? They can be, So why yes. aren't you arresting them? Because I'm so not you're there singling right me now. out. I am not. So, you're, so your no. department is singling no. me out. No. Your department is singling. Yes, I they are. You, you literally have clubs that have double the decimal volume downtown. I go there every night. Once again, dummy, that is zoned commercial business. It's different. You're in a residential zone. And in residential zones, you are not allowed to blast music at a mega decibel so that your poor neighbors have to hear your garbage music all day. Once again, Psycho, all you need to do is look up your town ordinances. In a residential zone, there's a vehicular noise application. It says, no person shall operate or permit the operation of any sound amplification system in or on any motor vehicle, which can be heard outside the vehicle for 75 or more feet when the vehicle is operated or located on a public right of way, unless such system is being operated to request assistance. Doesn't sound like you need assistance. It sounds like you're just being a little baby and you won't turn your music down. I need you to provide your And ID. you are going to single me out? I need you to provide your ID. I have no... I told you, I will go to jail with you. I will go. I'm not going to fight you on this. Take me downtown. We both know cash for bail is over. No, I don't care what you want. You're going you're gonna to respect my rights or you're going to back down. I'm not going to back down. There we go. I need your Neither ID. Neither am I. I need your ID. Neither am I. Okay. Do what you got to do. I'm right here. I told you I will willingly go. I will not resist arrest. I will not resist your commands once you've placed me under arrest for what? The I'm accepting it. I accept it. Your officer, I accept why you're going to arrest me. You don't even know why. Because you won't listen. You're definitely right. I don't. Yes. We're conducting the investigation for the city ordinance. What is your name and badge number? I just want to, for the record, 7-Eleven. Go ahead, give them the license plate number. Once they, once they register my name, they're going to take you back down. You know why? Because I've sued you before. I'm suing you now. I've sued... Continue. Continue. What's your name What's your name and badge number? Officer Walton, badge number 711. I appreciate you being more respectful than him. He was triggered. That, it, For the record, I observed that. He's triggered? You think this officer is triggered? I'll, I'll tell you what we observed. We observed a petulant little child being told that his music is too loud, and he didn't like that, and now he's throwing a hissy fit on his front lawn for all his neighbors to see. Instead of being an adult and saying, I'm sorry, officer, I'll, I'll keep it down, no problem. No, that would have been the end of it. No, that's too easy for a frauditor. We have to make a big case and now threaten lawsuits just because the officer asked for your ID. Are you absolutely out of your mind? They wonder why they have such problems with the police and the system. There's an easy way to go about this. And they obviously don't do that because it doesn't fit their dumb narrative that we have to fight the police. It's so ridiculous and exhausting. 
Do what you gotta do, man. I'm not gonna fight you or resist. Do what you feel like you have to do. I promise you I won't resist. So surprise, surprise, the constitutionalist loser decided to cut his camera right there. Now, we don't know what happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and formulate my hypothesis. The police officer was waiting for the call to come in because he requested that he arrest this gentleman. He probably got word in the next 10 seconds to go ahead and put him in cuffs. And he did so. He probably put him in cuffs, arrested him for, you know, not providing his ID, probably gave him a noise violation, which I don't even know what that ticket would be. You could look it up in Illinois. It's probably like $25, who knows? And he might've spent the night in jail. And he's embarrassed because he doesn't want his dumb followers to know that he was arrested for quite possibly the dumbest reason ever. It, it, it's amazing that these people have to share our country with us. Normal everyday citizens living their lives, working their jobs, and then you have these pathetic morons. It's, it's incredible. Pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans.